Hello, children. All of you, uh, please listen today's concept carefully. So here, this is a long answer question. This is a long answer question. This is today's concept is long answer question. So we are discussing what unit? Unit six. Unit six. All of you say what unit? Unit, 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 unit six. Reproduction. So first it is what nutrition, respiration, transportation, excretion, coordination, and now we are discussing six unit. And from the six unit, you are getting more questions. More questions are asked from this unit. Normally, every unit is important, and we should not neglect any unit. There are ten units are there. Ten units are important. But many times. Uh, this question is asked in examination. Describe male, human, male, human. Um, uh, describe male system with the help of a label diagram. It is a eight mark question this year. This year is 2022 to 23. This year you are getting this question as eight mark question, not four. Eight mark question, long answer question. You need to write eight to ten lines. You need to draw the diagram and you need to write how many sentences? 8 to 10 sentences. Then you write, if you draw the diagram and you, you write a good description, more than 8 to 10 lines, uh, you are getting what? Full marks, 8 marks. Okay, and now I am telling you uh, reproduction unit, page number 123. Page number 123. It is easy to remember 1, 2, 3. So it is easy to remember male reproductive system. One, two, three. Egg, two, three. One, two, three. Male reproductive system. Female reproductive system. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, two, four. Male reproductive system. One, two, three. So where is male reproductive system in your textbook? One, two, three. One. Miss A. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Male reproductive system. Don't write. Listen. All of you listen. Don't write. Boys, listen. So here you are observing the presence of what male reproductive system diagram. All of you look in your textbook, 123 page, and also you watch this diagram also. In why talking? First line: reproduction in placental mammals. Heading: Why talking reproduction in placental mammals, especially in human being? Special type of reproductive systems we observe in case of males and females to carry reproduction. Let us study them in detail. So you have, we have special type of reproductive organ. So human males have their own reproductive organ. And human females have their own reproductive organ. And these reproductive organs are what helpful for to giving what? To give what? A birth to a baby or to offspring. So we have what? Special reproductive organ. And today we are discussing what human male reproductive system. All of you say human male reproductive system. So here, diagram 13A in your textbook. So all of you look and observe this diagram. So here, this diagram is telling you that what are the parts which are present in the male human reproductive system. First one. So here you see one and two. 1 and 2. These are called testes. In males, how many testes are present? 2. 2, two testes are the reproductive organ. And these two are reproductive organ. Testes are present outside the abdomen. This is abdomen. This is abdomen. Outside the abdomen, outside the abdomen, testes are present. In a pouches, in a pouch, in a sac. And that is called scrotum. That is called scrotum. S-C-R-O-T-U-M. How many tests are present? Two tests are present. Where are they present? Outside the abdominal cavity. And in what? Pouches or sacs. In the skin sac that is called scrotum. All of you say what is that? Scrotum. Scrotum. These two are testes. Present outside the abdominal cavity. 
and testes consists of what seminiferous tubules. There you see what are present in uh, testes. Tubules are present. Seminiferous tubules are present. Coiled tubules are present. And uh, these coiled tubes are having what germinal epithelial cells, epithelial cells. And these cells undergo mitotic and meiosis division. Finally, sperms are produced in the testes. Sperms are produced in the testes, and they are male gametes. Sperms are male gametes. So, sperm, page number 124, there you see. Structure of spermatozoa is given, 124. And that is the structure of spermatozoa. So, males are producing what? Sperm from testes. Testes are producing what? Sperm. They are having seminiferous tubules, and seminiferous tubules consist of what? Germinal epithelial cells, and they undergo what? Mitotic and meiotic cell division, and finally, sperms are producing testes. And now you may ask a question like this Why testes are present outside? Why not they are present inside the body? You may get uh, this type of question in your mind. So, why males? Why male animals? All male animals, dogs, cats, and uh, uh, horses, oxes, ox, cattle. Uh, in this animal, you see what? Testes are present outside the body, but not inside the body. Why? Because testes should be present outside the body. If they are present inside the body, and uh, testes may not produce what sperm. And the boy and the man is not producing what sperm if they are present in the abdomen. So that is the reason they are present outside the body. And they are maintaining low temperature than the body temperature. And that is given. Page 123. Suppose if you touch your testes, boys, and these testes are, are having low temperature than your body temperature. Our body temperature is 37 degrees centigrade or 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit. But testes are maintaining low temperature and 2 to 2.5 degrees centigrade less than the body temperature. Listen, testes are maintaining what? And scotal sacs are present. And in the testes, testes are present in scotal sac and they are maintaining what? Low temperature. 2 to 2.5 degrees centigrade. Less than the body temperature. Body temperature is 37 degrees centigrade. And that, the temperature is 35 not 37. So why? That temperature is necessary for to produce what? Sperms. If they are present inside the body, sperms are not produced. So that is the reason nature has what given what this testis should be present outside the body, abdominal cavity and they are present in the sacs and that is called a scrotum. So that is the reason they are present outside the body but not inside. If they are present inside and testis may not produce what? Sperm. That is the reason they are present outside. So that is the, what description about what testes. And testes also producing what male sex hormone. That is testosterone hormone. Under it, testes are producing male hormone. That is called testosterone hormone. Under it. Okay. Do you uh, do you see that one? Testosterone. Testes. Okay. What is the line? Line, last line. Testes are secreting. Testes are producing what? Testosterone hormone, male hormone. Pranay. Male hormone, that is called testosterone hormone. Name the hormone which is produced by the testes. Testosterone hormone. All of you say? Testosterone hormone. And that is about testes. And I am asking simple question. How many testes are present in males? Two. Two. Where are they present? Outside the body, abdominal cavity, in the scrotum, skin sac. They are present in skin sac. So outside skin is present, and in this, this skin sac, what is present? Testes are present. How many? Two are present. And they are having what? Seminiferous tubules. And uh, they are also ha having what? Germinal epithelial cell. They release what? Sperm. And sperms are released and are produced, and they enter into vasa appearance here. Second heading, you see, see, second heading. First test is over. Second, vasa efferentia. So listen, 
here you see so here what these are called lobules these are called lobules inside the chest is water present some gaps are present and these are called lobules in the lobules what are present vasa efferents are present they are tubes small tubes are present and these vasa efferents they carry sperms to the posterior part of the testis this is posterior part this is the anterior part this is the anterior part this is the posterior part posterior part and vasa efferents are present here they carry sperms into the epididymis so this is called epididymis where is it this is no no this is epididymis this is epididymis this is epididymis and this is epididymis so here here you see what coil tube surfaced and this coil tube is called epididymis inside this is water present vasa efferentia girls <coughs> listen <coughs> listen keep your mind on this so here testis are having what vasa efferentia coil tube surfaced and what are their function they carry sperms to the epididymis so epididymis is present here present here on the posterior part of the what testis inside the testis what are present epididymis is present and this epididymis is useful to store sperms sperms are stored where does sperms are stored in uh, mates in epididymis you need to give your answer where does sperms are produced in mates epididymis say answer epididymis so this is the epididymis this is the epididymis there you see sperms are stored so i told you three parts first testis is over second vasa efferentia is over next i am telling what epididymis so what is the function of epididymis it is useful to store the sperms so three parts are over and now i am telling what this one this is the, this one this one these are two tubes and they are long tubes they arise from epididymis fourth one apra fourth one that is called vasa deferens vas deferens so this is called vas deferens this is called vas deferens two tubes are present in the, in the abdomen and in these two tubes they carry sperms so these are useful for what purpose to carry sperm and these are called the long tubes are called what a vas deferens there you see vas deferens where is that was different so this is one was different this is one was different and this is another was different this is testis this is testis these are vasa efferentia and this is epididymis after completion of my lesson i will call you one of you you please come and say the parts of the male reproductive system listen carefully so i am taking much time and uh, i am telling in what in detail so these are two are testis and these are vas deferens are you and this is called epididymis and this is called what vas deferens how many vas deferens are there two 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 tubes and they are long tubes and they ascend into the abdomen into the abdomen and they there you see there you see what they ascend into the abdomen and ah uh, they ascend into the abdomen are uh, looping around ureters and open to the urethra and open it to urethra and open it to urethra urethra so this is urethra this is urethra this is urethra so actually this organ is called penis this organ is called penis so between the two testes just above the testes you see the presence of penis in boys penis is present and that organ is a Uh, that organ is used to pass urine as well as sperm. Penis is an organ. It is useful to pass urine as well as to pass what sperm. So it is performing dual function, two function. So this is called urethra. And through the urethra, males are what produce releasing what urine as well as sperm. So this is a common duct. 
and this common last one there you see one two three last one ureno genital duct this is called ureno genital duct all of uh, say what is that ureno bigger ureno genital duct this is ureno genital duct and that duct is carrying what urine as well as sperm so that is the reason it is called as ureno genital duct but in case of female it is not in case of female urine is passed by means of what separate duct that is called urethra but in case of male urine as well as sperm are passed through a one duct that is called ureno genital duct that is called ureno genital duct so this is the over last part ureno genital duct so i told you what testis next vasa efferentia next epidermis and vas deferent vasa deferent and now i am telling you what next part what is that seminal uh, seminal vesicles seminal vesicles are present here and uh, seminal vesicles are open into the vas deferent they open to the these are seminal vesicles seminal vesicles open to the vas deferent and their main function is to secrete to produce seminal fluid in males seminal fluids are present and these fluids are useful to provide what nutrient to this sperm when they are outside so when the sperm are outside at that time and these seminal fluids they are providing what nutrient so thereby sperm are survive so that is function of seminal vesicles seminal vesicles are two and they secreting what seminal plasma and this seminal plasma is useful to nourish what sperm when they are when they are outside so that is function of seminal vesicles how many seminal vesicles are present two what are their function they secrete what seminal plasma and they provide what nutrient to the sperm when they are present outside so that is the function of what seminal vesicles the next one prostate here you see this is the prostate gland in case of male prostate gland is present and prostate gland main function is to secrete prostate fluid and this prostate fluid also useful to nourish what sperm nourishment what giving what food to the sperm so that is the function of what prostate gland what is only one gland is present prostate gland is secreting what prostate fluid and that prostate fluid is for what purpose to nourish the sperm to nourish the sperm that is function of prostate gland so i told you seminal vesicles i told you prostate gland and now i'm telling what cowper gland and cowper glands also present here just here and these cowper glands are helpful to secrete what secretion fluid and they are helpful for to nutrient the acidity in the walls of the urethra and help in free flow of sperm outside so males they are living what sperm and they should be flow outside freely but not with pain and uh, this uh, fluid is useful for what purpose to uh, to uh, make the sperm to flow freely through the urethra that is function of what cowper gland they nutrient the city what are the urethra and they help us to uh, free flow of sperm outside the body and that is our function of what cowper gland next one yeah, ah ejaculate all of this ejaculate duct say ejaculate ejaculate duct so two ejaculate duct are present and they arise from seminal vesicles and they join what vas deferent this is vas deferent they join vas deferent and uh, in the form of a duct and two duct they open to the urethra and the two duct open to the urethra so that is the functioning of ejaculate duct the last one ureno genital duct okay and now i am telling you briefly once again about the male reproductive system all of you listen carefully you boys and girls you are listening very carefully thank you so now i am once again telling the parts of the male reproductive system so how many testes are present in male two where are they present outside outside very good you are listening carefully very interestingly where are present they are present all of you say all of you say all of you Why they are present outside the abdominal cavity? Why not present in the abdominal cavity? 
If they are present in the abdominal cavity, what will happen? Sperms are not secreted. And temperature of the uh, testes is maintained low or high? Low. low. Between 2 to 2.0 degrees centigrade less than the boil temperature. So that temperature is necessary for to produce what? Sperm. And name the male sex hormone released by the testes. Testosterone. Yes. Testosterone hormone. There you see. Testes. Okay. Next part is Vasa Efferentia. They are called tubes. And uh, testes are secreting what? Sperm. And they enter to the Vasa Efferentia. And they open to the epididymis. Where are epididymis present? They are present on the posterior part of the what? Uh, posterior side of the what testis. And these are useful for what purpose? What purpose? Yeah, to store the sperm. Where are sperms are stored in males? Epididymis. In epididymis? Where are in epididymis? What are stored? Sperms are stored. Sperms are stored in epididymis. And next part is? Was differentia. How many tubes are present? Two. They are long. They ascend into the abdomen and looping around the ureter and open into the urethra. And they carry sperms. They carry sperm. And these tubes they carry sperm. They carry sperm. And next you see what? Seminal vesicles. How many seminal vesicles are present? They are glands. Two. What are they secreting? Seminal plasma. And what is the function of seminal plasma? They nourish the sperm when they are outside. Next one? Co huh? Next one? Prostate gland. How many are present? Only one. And what is the function of prostate gland? It is secreting what fluid? Prostate fluid. And what is the function of prostate fluid? It is also providing nutrient to the sperm. And next one? Copper. How many are present? Two. What are their uh, uh, secretion? Copper gland, they are secreting fluid and this neutralizes the acidity in the wash of the urethra and they help in free flow of sperm outside the body copper gland and next one ejaculate duct and they are arising from seminal vesicles and they open to the wash different and they form as ejaculate duct two duct they open at the center of the urethra at the center of the urethra and last one is this one last one is this one so here Sperms are released, sperms are produced from here, was a efferentia, was a efferentia to epidermis, epidermis to was different, was different to urethra, this is urethra, this is called urethra, and this urethra, this is a glands penis, and this is the, this is this organic penis, and through the urethra, uh, we are releasing, males are releasing what? Sperms as well as urine. So males are releasing what? Sperms as well as urine. So that is the reason it is called as ureno delta duct. Okay. One of you come here and read the parts of the male nuclear system. Please come. Male nuclear system. One by one. So starting from testes. Uh, boys, be ready. Be ready. Uh, please uh, read. Uh, one by one. First, what is the first part? Yes. Where are, where are they? These are testes. These two are testes. Not that is the heading. These two are testes. How many testes are present? Two. 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 And next part? Vasa temperature. These are vasa temperature. And they carry what? Sperm. Into the epidermis. This is epidermis. Epidermis. Uh, what is the function of epidermis? Say bigger. Yes, they store the sperms. So sperms are stored just like we have what? Tank in our home. And that is useful to store what? Water. water. But here, sperm. what is not stored? It is for what? For storing of what? Sperms. And sperms are stored in epididymis. Over. Next one. This is what? Vast difference. And next one? Vyasa. And uh, what are the glands present? Seminal vesicles are present. You go. Seminal vesicles are present. And uh, copper of glands are present. And prostate gland is present and ejaculate duct is present, all the other parts of the male nuclear system. Okay? Uh, now I am asking only two questions. Be ready. Boy said. Bharati, please come. You start again. Uh, how many testes are present in our body? Two. Male. Two. Two testes. Where are they present? Outside, outside the? Outside the abdominal cavity. In? In? Strotum. Strotum. Go. 
girls, you please come. Be ready. Where are sperm stored in male system? Yes, correct. Sperms are stored in epidermis. You are listening carefully. Thank you. Correct answer. In epidermis, sperms are stored. Okay. Next. Ganesh, please come. What is the function of urethra? This is urethra. What is the function of urethra? Say, it is useful for? Uh, to carry? To carry sperms uh, and, and urine. Very good. So that is useful to carry sperms as well as urine. That is the reason it is called as ureno gender duct. Excellent. Good answer. Go. So that is uh, a clear cut description about male reproductive system. Page number 123, unit 6, reproduction. Thank you.